like to introduce the new member of our Winora family, Winora Light. Winora Light is the easy to use version of Winora. It's like training wheels for your bicycle. It has no advanced features. It's simple, easy to use, and much less likely to make mistakes. And we'd also like to go over the installation of both Winora Light and our new Winora version 7 Pro. To install Winora, you just simply open up the CD tray in your computer, pop in the Winora CD, enter it, and it comes right up on your screen. And now you're into Winora. You just simply click Next when you see the Winora session. Um, then you, I just keep clicking yes myself on just about any software I do. You just keep clicking next, yes. Now, typical is a typical install, compact and customer. Probably things you'll never need to worry about. So, And you may, this allows you to put the winner in different places, but I would suggest just clicking next. Then Winora will self-install. You can just sit here and watch it. It just takes a few minutes. Okay, when setup's finished, it'll register the icons for you, and it'll create icons directly on your desktop that you can just click on to go directly to Winora. And now, these are extra things that you also have to install, but you don't need to think, just click Next. And just keep clicking, and it'll install itself, finish. This installs the Install Shield Wizards complete for the Sentinel key, so your key is installed. Now we're going to install the TechSmith screen capture device, which allows you to record. And that's it. And you just wait for your computer to restart, and Winora will be right there for you. Okay, after you install, you'll see two icons on your screen. I dragged them towards the center of the screen. And we have Winora Session and Winora Light. I would recommend starting with Winora Light. It's like a bicycle with training wheels. It's easier to use. It doesn't have all the advanced features that would get in the way and make things difficult for you. Okay, you place your hand on the sensor box. And when your left hand's on the sensor box, You'll see the uh, calibration mode come into fruition. You should sort of place yourself in the center. The Winora Pro, the aura will actually sort of follow you. With the Winora Light, you sort of have to get in the center of the aura for it to work right. Okay, calibration is finished. You can also turn the speed up. It moves a little faster. I would recommend, under most conditions, to run it at a slower speed. It'll just be far more dependable at a slower speed. With Winora Light, you have your choice between regular mode or chakra mode. Now you see you see my face in the chakra. You can either turn off the camera or when you go into large, which can be kind of useful if you need to get about 10 feet away and you stand in the center. Now with the Winora Pro, you can stand in the center and these will stay, stay in alignment. Um, now you can also, if you want to not see that, you can use our standard chakra bars. Okay, Winora Star allows you to see the front, I think the upper arms of the front, the lower arms of the back, the spread out legs of the front, and the internal legs of the back. You can sort of tell by the design. Now, if you want to change settings, you just simply click Change Settings. Now, Winora comes with English installed, so if you want to install the other languages, you have to go through the CD. It'll be in the instructions on how to install it. German, French, Chinese, Japanese, whatever that you might need to use. This is the printer. I recommend you start with HTML output, and you need to have a printer driver installed for this to work properly. This is the camera that you can turn on or off, and below where it says HTML, you can see what size report you'd want to use. The short report, the short report with the large pictures, 
the long report or the extra long report. So we'll click extra long report, click OK, and we're back into Winora. Now this graph here mainly just tells you the hue. The warmer the color, the longer the graph, the, the cooler the color, the shorter the graph. This is the one that you're going to be most interested in. This shows the change in your aura as you're, as you're doing things. This can be ideal for showing the effects of products. Like if you were to sniff some citrus, or say I picked up this crystal here, and you should see those graphs at the bottom will change more radically than the rest of the picture. So just to kind of give you an idea how that works. Okay, and now we can try showing the graphs. I'm going to set that to the center. Clicking these things, you have to click a certain rhythm. This is a Windows thing. We didn't make these. You have to click, click. If you click too fast, it doesn't work. If you click too slow, it doesn't work. Also, slowing down the aura rate will make those respond more reliably. Some computers, they work beautifully on. Some of them, you have to set the speed slower. Okay, you can watch my graphs sort of starting to build here. Now, what you look for, if you want to look for areas that might have too fast in energy or too slow in energy. The higher the graph, the higher the speed of the energy flow. The lower the graph, the lower the speed of energy flow. So if you compare all these together, you look for the one that's either the highest or the one that's the lowest, and those usually will indicate problem areas. Like right here it says, this one kind of looks a little higher than most of them. And um, let's see if I can pick up the lowest one. I would say my lower back is probably the lowest one, and it's not feeling the best today either. So, And lower mid-torso, you can see how that's actually a little bit too high. So the energy needs to be moderated, not too fast or too slow. We've just given you a quick tour of Winora Lite. Now we'll give you a quick tour of Winora Pro. See it. Okay, and now we're into the sleep screen of Winora Pro. This can be ideal if you're working shows or you have a shop, and then it gives a little slideshow of what Winora does. Also, you'll see up here it says no or yes. If you click no, when you start Winora, this will go away and it won't come back. If you click yes, every time someone takes their hand off the sensor box, this little slideshow will start. Now I'll click start. And now we're into Winora Pro. It looks almost identical to Winora Lite. However, there's some changes. For example, you have the record bar where you can actually record a session. So why don't we just try this right now to see how it works. I recommend for recording to set the aura rate to slow. And then after you get used to recording, you can set it to faster and faster because when you record, it uses a lot of the computer's resources, which may slow other things down. So I'm going to hit the record button so you can see. And I'll put my hand up. Now one of the interesting things is if you set the aura rate to slow, the video actually moves faster. If you set the aura rate to fast, the video part may actually may, may move slower, but the aura moves faster. So there's trade-offs for everything. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this in the middle. And when you're finished recording, you just hit the, the square stop button, which you should be used to. It'll take a few seconds for it to process, and then if we want to see our video, we can just click the arrow there, and it'll bring up the screen. Now what we're looking at is not me. This is a video we just did just a few minutes ago. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because we don't need it. Now suppose you wanted to save this. You just simply put a CD into your CD tray, and you click Save Session and you just simply hit burn. You click burn and you click next and in 35 seconds I'll have a CD of the session that I just did that you can send to anybody. They can play it on any computer anywhere and they can actually see the recording you've made. This is ideal for showing the effect of a healing session and being able to give the client a copy of what you've just done. I think the limitation is probably about 20 minutes is the maximum we can go with this. We'll, soon we'll have it recorded on DVD.
Okay, now we'll go through the change settings. Okay, now you'll notice this change settings box is considerably more complicated than the WinOR Lite. We have all these advanced features. Photo Stable will actually keep the colors from changing rapidly. It's ideal if you want to take a photograph. So if you're going to take a photograph of someone, I would recommend using Photo Stable and for mode, I would click Photo Session. Photo Session and Photo Stable are ideal for taking photographs, snapshots, or printouts of people. So we'll just click OK. And now I'm into Photo Stable. And what this means is that the colors won't vary a lot while you're taking your picture. So you always be sure to ask the person to smile and click print. And in just a second, we'll get the HTML screen. And you'll notice over here, you'll see a little printer icon telling you that it's getting ready to print. And there you see the HTML screen. And it shows a whole printout that your customer can see before you actually do your photo. Hi, right, if you want to save, you just simply go to File, you go to Save As. I'd recommend looking in My Documents for My Pictures. And you can just save them in My Pictures and you can name each one by the name of the person and the date if you'd like. And you can save them all. Or you can save them, put them on a CD, and send them off to your customers. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the HTML screen. Also, if you prefer, you can do snapshots, which come out in glossy photo paper. This allows you to do a snapshot of regular, seven chakra, or win or a star. You can also do snapshot with graphs on regular, seven chakra, or win star. Or you can actually have a little four by five or four by six um, view of what you see on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these off because they take... Um, so we're going to do just one simple regular printout. So you can do a regular snapshot on snapshot photo glossy paper. So I'll just click OK. Okay, when you hit snapshot, you'll see this little um, box come up which tells you about the HTML. You might want to wait until it finishes printing, or you can just go ahead and click Yes, and the HTML screen will come up. But I wouldn't print the HTML quite yet. What I would recommend would be a setting your printer to photo mode, so that you can print out a 4x5 or 4x6 um, picture in the glossy photo mode. Okay, now if you have your 4x5 glossy photo that you can give to your customer, now you can just go ahead and print the whole 18 to 20 something page report. You simply go to here, you click where it says print. And now here I would suggest you go to preferences and you'd set it at, to plain paper. I leave the printer set on glossy paper. And when you want to print the report, you can put plain paper and you can also print in draft mode, which means you can print out very fast. So you have a line of people, you can just really print them out quickly and, and, and yet be able to give people a really beautiful, glossy, high quality color photo on photo paper, which would be 4x5 or 4x6. Okay, so then you just click print and it prints. <laughs> Now, we'll try some of the more advanced features. Now, we're not going to be using Photo Stable because we don't need it. I would just leave that on. Um, what Warm Colors does, it tends to make the colors a little warmer, a little bit more towards the reds and yellows. Turning this off will move things more towards the blues. We have High Sensitivity. If you click High Sensitivity, the colors will change much more rapidly to uh, less stimulation. Um, so we'll just show you what that looks like doesn't look a whole lot different. But this one here is ideal for showing the effects of something like, say, a crystal. So you can see that the colors change relatively easily with any subtle energy products. Now let's go ahead and let's go into change settings again. 
And now we're going to try Active Aura. And Active Aura allows you to see subtleties in the aura that you might not see otherwise. It may not be the ideal thing for detecting somebody's personality, but it's really ideal for doing sessions because you actually will see um, shapes and, and uh, patterns in the aura that you could never see without it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and turn Active Aura off. I'll leave high sensitivity on. Now this is at Aura Live. So to use Aura Live, you can use this in pretty much any mode, including seven chakras, ideal for seven chakras. You see that the Aura will actually follow my motion to a certain amount. It, it tends, when it hits the side of the screen, as far as it goes, that's sort of, that's about as, okay. So you kind of get the idea that if you move, it moves with you. It, it's, it can be a really handy feature. It also makes the aura much more alive and lifelike. Okay, so you have Aura Live, hold a succession, and this needs to be set to Aura Live. Now, Aura Live will work with chakra or head and shoulders. Hold a succession, on the other hand, will only work with the Aura Live mode. So we'll try this again. I've got hold a succession, Aura Live, and high sensitivity set. With Holy Succession, you can actually see the energy around your hand if you move your hand around. This is ideal for healings. If there were a healer over here, the color of the healer would be there. If the healer moved to the center, the healer's color goes to the center. If the healer moves to this side over here, the healer's color would be seen over here. What you're seeing right now is you're seeing the color around my hand. So that shows you that. So we'll go to change settings again. Also, I recommend using Aura Rate of Slow until you find out that these icons, the Windows icons, will respond. They actually respond far better if you're in slow mode than they do if you're in fast. Thank you for watching this presentation, and we hope that you enjoy WinAura.